Hello everyone, this is Yael from Yael Alchemy and I'm here to bring you a Valentine's message. Uh, February 14, Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's everyone. But I'm sure we all know that it's not just one day where in love is concentrated, especially Twin Flames. You know you are the harbingers, the amplifiers of unconditional love on the planet. And I wanted to find out what message um, was there for Twin Flames uh, for this day. So uh, I took out my roomy cards and I, I prayed over the cards and of course shuffled them. And this is the card that I picked for for all of us. And uh, we'll see what it is. And... Um, Okay, that's quite beautiful. This is number 44. What are the odds? Number 44 for the 144 Twin Flames. Okay, so this is Merciful Mother Jamal. And we'll start in a few seconds. So for now, uh, I'd like you to find a quiet spot one where you won't be disturbed, turn off your phones and get yourself into that energy. Okay, so breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Number 44, Merciful Mother Jamal. O sudden resurrection, O countless blessings, O blazing fire in the jungle of thoughts, today you arrive with laughter to break open the jail. Rumi. You, blazing angel, capable of so much, you evoke the testing hand of life. Why not when you cannot fail? Yet in your sweet surrender, how can the great beloved not respond in kind and offer you solace, comfort, and mercy? For not all success must be hard won. Can you imagine this? The sweet face of the all-powerful? It shines upon you as the love emanating from the Holy Mother's eyes. The golden radiance of her body and the gentleness of her touch. This is your birthright now, your divine inheritance, the mercy of the All-Merciful. Let it soften the hard edges of your life and your being and bring you to the grace that is deserved. This oracle brings you a message. There is a shift taking place now in a matter of great importance to you. From Jalal to Jamal, from justice to mercy. This is your path, your destiny, and your blessing, now opening up before you. It may be a particular matter, however, it likely includes your entire life orientation. You are being granted refuge, respite, and shelter from the storms of struggle and doubt, and being given a divine sanctuary of safe harbor. You shall find that the unraveling of the struggle and pain now happens through tenderness, a gentler approach. You are also being asked to take stock of your own thoughts and attitudes. Having to be tough and play hardball in the past has served its purpose. Yet this oracle comes to you with guidance to become softer in your way and your attitude. Can you gently but firmly place to one side the judge within, the one who keeps score and demands retribution, an eye for an eye, the exponent of absolute justice? Can you invite, instead, 
the one who gentles the aggressive lord within and allows him to bow before the great lady who loves, is wise, and who steadies the workings of the world with the softest of touches. Don't fear that if you suddenly give yourself a break, all your discipline, hardness, toughness, and suffering will go to waste. No, all things provide learning and serve divine purpose. But now there is no reason to continue in that way. It is time to learn another way. You are strong enough now to become gentle. If there is a foe or fight in your life, ask for the Mother of Mercy to bless it into resolution. If you have also drawn the hand of Fatima, you are being told that this resolution is already on its way. You are being told now that you can stand your ground and remain in your strength without having to become aggressive or hard. You have more power than you realize, and it is in your being. It is not in your ability to control others or manipulate emotions or situations, for such actions are unworthy of a being of your magnitude and are unnecessary for your success. You are also being given the message that your prayers are powerful. Although action in the world is a part of your sole purpose and plan, when you pray, have conviction that your prayers are real, are heard, and are responded to by the great universal heart. So pray carefully and thoughtfully. Be present and speak as if you were speaking to your dearest, oldest, and most influential and powerful friend, because of course, that is exactly what you are doing. Pray from the heart and trust in the power of your prayers. There is no limit to what you can pray about, nothing too unspiritual or unworthy, nothing. So pray. This oracle brings you the message that the great power of compassion is reaching for you, that it wants to help you, but is waiting for you to ask. So ask, then you shall receive. Sacred Honoring Ritual With your hand on your heart, Say, I call upon Jamal, mother of mercy, upon Rumi, who loves me unconditionally and ask for your grace, intervention, and blessing now in all matters of my life. I accept the help of the great universal compassion seeking to bestow itself upon me now. Thank you. If there is a particular issue with which you are struggling, you may also like to speak of that specifically for a few moments in your prayer. When you are ready, rest with both hands at your heart for as long as it feels good. You have completed your sacred honoring ritual. Wow, such a timely message for us. Uh, and you will understand it more if you if you've watched or you've listened to my Twin Flame weekly reading, uh, because yes, we have been pummeled, and it would be great for this compassion from the great universal heart right now. So say our prayers, and um, 
move forward with your heart during this love month. Okay, uh, I do have some special offerings up. So check that out if you see it can help you. It is the Fill Your World with Love Reiki, the General Love Reading, and the Rapid Romance Reading. But right now, uh, let us be grateful for this message. Okay, take care everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you all. Bye.